hopefully our students. I think they'll know us for our students and what they do and who they are. More importantly, who they are. I think we'll be known as an innovator among higher education. I'd follow up on that. I think we'll be known for alternatives that are effective in providing quality experience, innovative. But we'll be known for engaged students. Students are engaged, who are involved in what they're doing, and can take a sense of responsibility and move forward with people. You brethren have anything you'd like to add? Kevin, well, what do you think? I, I think uh, our, our students will be unlike the world. They won't have thought patterns or goals or aspirations as the world does. And, um, and they'll set themselves apart. It goes back to what Charles referred to. We'll be known for our students. Um, I appreciate Henry's response to a question once when, he, when they asked what our mascot, what our symbol was for BYU-Idaho. And he responded, the student face. And I think that's what we'll be known for. That's good. Henry? Well, we are blessed, as in so many ways, that prophets have told us what we'll be known for. Um, President Eyring, in the Steady Upward course, again, very much focused on students, said that employers will see uh, our students never having been to Rexburg and will say, where do they come from? How do you do it? And uh, President Eyring predicted we wouldn't be able to explain. We can't explain it, but we can say, come, come with us to Rexburg. President uh, Hinckley gave us the charge to, as Betty mentioned, to, to raise our profile, to become a standard to the nations. And I think we will be like so many other entities in the church where we will be blessed to participate in the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy that people, good people in all nations will say, let's go up to the mountain of the Lord's house and, and see how they do it. You know, I'd like to add just a couple of things. And these are wonderful comments. Um, these also, I think, are prophetic, um, have been spoken of in the past. I think, I think the university will be known for its scholarship of teaching and learning that it will be recognized as, and it actually will be a place where um, we will have learned a lot about learning, which we will share. And, and, we'll be, and it'll be innovative, it'll be uh, different uh, because we'll have the Holy Spirit here, but also because the Lord will bless us with insights about learning and teaching that will be very powerful. I think another thing that will become clearer over time is that BYU-Idaho will, will be recognized for the nature of its undergraduate education. There was a phrase we, we used at the beginning of the transition. The phrase was rethinking education. And it's not, um, it's not limited to a, a narrow uh, definition. It's a broad concept. I think we will become known for undergraduate education uh, of a particular kind. Last night I had a family home evening group, uh, which we do every Monday night. We had a ward. There were about 110, 120 students there. And th there was a question um, that some student asked about what would you tell my brother to convince him to come to BYU-Idaho? And uh, the first thing I said was, well, you should go where the Lord wants you to go. So you find that out. But then we talked about what, what, what kind, wh who, are the, who are the people that will really thrive at BYU-Idaho? And I, a thought came to me, which I think we'll be known for. And that is, if you like the Holy Ghost, you'll like BYU-Idaho. If you don't like the Spirit, you won't like BYU-Idaho. If you like the Holy Ghost, you like to be where the Holy Ghost is, you like the Spirit and what that means to you, you'll love BYU-Idaho because this will be a place where the Holy Ghost is, where the Spirit is. And that's, and I think we'll be known for that. This is, uh, this is the light on the hill 
Um, this is the, the thing that attracts people here. It's not just clever sociology or interesting technology, it's the Spirit of the Lord. And the power that, that flows from heaven in this place that you'll feel. And that will happen because, as President Hinckley once said here on campus, BYU-Idaho is, is, is an institution of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It is part of the Lord's Church. And the Lord's Church is moving in power across the earth. The Lord is establishing His kingdom all across the earth. And this university is part of that. And if we remember that, that's what we're going to be known for. We are going to be part of that. And that will be very clear to people. And it will be the thing that draws people to the campus. We're all blessed to be part of this. Uh, this is a great season of revelation that we've uh, uh, been blessed to be here uh, during this time. And uh, I know the Lord will continue to watch over us and bless us. We have lots of work to do. We've talked today about a lot of the good things and things we're excited about. We know there are lots of challenges we face. It's not easy to become big and small at the same time. To, to grow and serve more students, but also give them a very high quality experience. It's not easy to lower the costs at the same time you're serving people all across the earth. But the Lord will make it possible if we trust Him and never forget whose university this is and why we're here. If we keep that clear, stay grounded and rooted, that means we can change lots of things you know, we can change where the buildings are and how, where people walk, and we can change the delivery modes, and we can change the calendar, but the thing will stay the same. The mission, its purpose, its roots will stay fixed. And that's, that's probably part of our challenge, is to figure out what's, what's that core of stuff, commitment to the Lord, and the frugality we've talked about, humility and love and spirit of the serving the one. <clears throat> Those are the things that will stay the same. Everything else might change, but uh, it will always be BYU-Idaho, and the spirit will be here, and you can come back here in 30 years, and it will feel the same. That's where we're headed. <laughs>